We now need to add more detail to our 3D model. We want to add a fascia and gutter. We can do this in a couple of different ways. In the object library, we can either search for it, gutter, and that will show us what's available. We can search through our library in order to find them that way if we know where we're looking. We can also do these as beams. So if we go into our beam tool, go into the beam settings, change to our segment, and change to complex profiles, we can also have beams that are created to be fascias and gutters. We will look at that soon, but the other way of doing it is also to bring in that information if we don't have it, and that's what we're going to do now. So from the desktop, I'm going to open up a PDF, and this is looking at the Lysart's fascia, which is called Novaline. Now this gives us information on it, but it's not really good in terms of specific drawings, and we don't want to do a quad gutter, we want to do a half round gutter in this instance. So we'll close that down. What we can also get from Lysarts, so that's the company who makes these profiles, is we can also get CAD files, ARCHICAD files or GSM, so these are object files. If we then have a look at those, I'm not going to put this into the library, I'm just going to uh, turn it on straight away, choose layer, and for now I'll just put it on ARCHICAD layer and then I'll change it later. Let's do the same thing with this one. So we've brought these both in. This is our gutter, this is our fascia, and when we bring in objects, nearly always we're bringing them in based on the floor plan. They look a little strange at the moment, they're all black. Let's go into the settings to find out why. We see that that's because their information is missing in terms of, in terms of their material and fill. So what we can do here is just change the material. Now. We haven't decided, we haven't talked much about materiality at the moment, so it could be a, a wide variety of materials. What it's likely to be, however, is a color bond color. So I'm going to choose a color bond color from here, and the one that I want is a basalt. So we're going to make them both to be color bond basalt, and in terms of a fill on plan, I just want that to be an empty fill. Now I also have my AD fill, so I'll use an AD empty fill. Press OK. I can change the, the pen if I want to as well. If I also go to floor plan and section, I can change some information there as well. So I'm going to make this just a thinner pen. And just this is the override, so it doesn't matter so much. But I'll just make that white for now. So we can see now that the pens are a bit thinner. It's based on 1 to 50, so it's still relatively thick at 1 to 50. And we can now use these, and we can use this in a couple of different ways. So when I go to this element here, I can stretch it. It's an object, right, but it's not necessarily stretching in a nice way. It doesn't give me the pink nodes and the ability to, to do much with it like I would uh, with other elements. So for now, if we just grab both of these elements, stick them side by side, and I'm going to move it. And I'm going to turn on my section, so I'll just turn on all of the layers to begin with. So we can see this is the section marker. And I don't know the orientation, I don't know if this is correct because I've just imported it. But for now I'll just drag these both and just put them where they should be sitting on the edge of the roof. And I, I could, I don't really need to, but I, I can extend this section if it's just going to be a little bit too short. We'll open up the section and see what these elements look like. They're probably going to be at the wrong height. Uh, we see that this one is back to front, so I'll have to go, and this one's back to front as well. I'll fix this in plan. It's a little bit hard to do this in section. I can, potentially. Let's go back into it. Select mirror. Select mirror. I'll turn off the true line weight for now just to make it a bit thinner. And the idea is, it's again, this roof isn't really detailed, so it's a little bit hard to understand what we're doing. But ultimately, the intention is that this will sit underneath here. Something like that. 
our roof sheeting or tiles would then have to go over the top of it and then the gutter can sit in here uh, where exactly it sits we can confirm that later but something like this now of course the gutter actually moves up and down or another way of saying that is a gutter is sloped a gutter isn't supposed to be perfectly flat and what I haven't shown here is the the gutter bracket but that's because they're not continuous so in terms of uh, being continuous this and this element is pretty much correct now again this is a simple object but it's not really helpful in ArchiCAD it's great that we've got it it's great that it's the scale it's great we don't have to draw it but what I want to do is to take a copy of these so for now I can do this in a couple of different ways I can press copy we're going to go into our profile manager because I, I want to create a complex profile I want to create a new one and this will be AED fascia and half round gutter and what I want to do is to paste this into here now it doesn't really matter what I do at the moment we'll just do that so it's pasted it what is it pasted it's pasted line so it's taken the three-dimensional object and we see it's sort of failed in its attempt to completely import it but it's it's mostly done it uh, the only other issue is this isn't good enough on its own in order to be able to be useful to us we need a little bit more information so what I'm going to do is to use some object uh, so ideally the polyline would be fantastic unfortunately we don't have that object available to us so I can either keep trying to do this in this view or I can do this somewhere else I can just at the moment join up the bits that are missing with lines so that's for our fascia and the other thing that I'm going to do just at the moment is move away the element that's my gutter I'm going to move it away a set dimension just to make it easy to remember later so that's just 100 millimeters because I can't just have this being one dimensional I actually need a, a depth I need a thickness so what I'll do here is to select all of these elements these are all lines I'm going to then get my line tool and my offset magic wand spacebar and then I'm going to move it into the middle we can see that it's, it's sort of mucking up when I do this sometimes it might be easier to go out it doesn't really matter I don't want it to be very thick I, one millimeter is going to be fine or even 0 0.5 millimeters um, but in terms of ArchiCAD and, and making that simple then maybe one millimeter is going to be the best option now I need to close the shape so I'm going to get my line and close this shape and now I need to add a fill into it so what is it it's made of steel so I'll choose that as my building material now I want a magic wand either inside this element or on the outside edge of this element let's try both let's try inside that did it in one go let's try on the outside that also worked now sometimes ArchiCAD has difficulty when it's a very complicated shape and it won't be able to do it with one of those options or both of those options and you may end up needing to do it in segmented parts or do it a couple times in bits to make it work I then want to delete all the lines so I'm only left with the fill I want to do the same thing with this one I need to make sure I'm keeping the outside thickness in this case so we'll do the same thing as before we'll select all these get the line offset offset one millimeter again it's thicker than it needs to be but I don't need to be exact in ArchiCAD when we're talking about something of this size less than a millimeter I'll do the same thing I'll select the fill hold shift and then reselect and that'll give me just all the lines move that away I'll move this back a hundred millimeters into place and so now I have my element now if I wanted to be really particular pedantic I might do the 
fascia and the gutter as separate elements if I wanted to try to, for instance, make the gutter show as sloped in elevation, but that's way too complicated, way more information than I need to do. I'm just gonna leave this like it is, and then I can adjust the height of this if necessary later on. So when I'm happy with that, I'm going to save it. I need to just tell Archicad what I wanna use it as. So I want to use it as a beam. I don't wanna use it as any other elements in this instance. I can also go down to my settings and change the materiality here or I can do it somewhere else. At the moment I, I don't know what color it's always going to be. Like I said it's, it's probably going to be color bomb basalt but in different projects it might be different colors so I don't necessarily want to override it straight away. Let's press save. We'll close that down. I'm going to go back to my roof. I will now delete these elements. They're no longer necessary. Now there's one thing that I didn't do, and so I'm gonna leave it as a mistake for now, and then we'll see what happens when we try. If I go into my beam, go to my segment, go to the complex profile, and then find the one that we've just created, A, E, D, fascia. Let's start drawing. But it looks a bit strange. So I've got a dot, and then I've got a space. So what's that about? Why is there a space here? If I go into the settings, I can go to my beam, I can look that it's got a zero offset, so I haven't made a mistake in the beam, but if I go into the complex profile, option, element, attributes, profile manager, let's go back to the one that I've just created, edit. I haven't thought about how it relates to my origin. So it's very important that I think, where does this fascia and gutter relate to my project origin. It's up for me to decide that. So do I want the front of it or the back of it to be the aligned to the fascia? Do I want it to be the relationship with the suffit? How does it work? Now, depending on the roof construction, this might change, but what I generally want to have happen is I want this to align with the outside face of the fascia, and I want this to align with the top of the fascia. So I'm gonna drag it down like this. That's where I want it to sit in this instance. Save. Save this, go out. We see that it's now moved. So we can see that the black dot has now moved in relationship to this gutter. Now I also don't have many other uh, uh, ways of interacting with this element. If I want to add nodes, to be able to f more finely adjust this, I can add more nodes to the complex profile as well. But for now, that's all that we wanna do. Let's drag this around, and I'm going to start it in the corner. That's effectively where I want it to sit. I can pick up the settings. Now, if I magic wand, we can see what's going to happen. It's placing it, but it's placing it backwards. It's inverted. Now this unfortunately happens with beams sometimes. If I was to draw this myself, I can also adjust this by flipping its axis, but unfortunately that's gonna turn upside down. So what I'll just do is just draw it. And so in this case, I want to be drawing it in this orientation. We can see that's a bit of work. So if I wanted to fix that and make life a little bit easy, if I go back into my profile, I can then mirror the relationship. And now when I magic wand, it's automatically on the correct side. So let's go into section. We'll just make sure that we have grouping enabled. So we see that they're all groups. They're all staying together at the moment. When I go to my section, section two, uh, let's currently just change this to construction. So we can see a little bit more detail. 
And so we can see that that pretty much lined up where we want it to be anyway. Uh, the, the size of this might be slightly off. The position of this is slightly off, so I might want to shift this down. So for instance, it's currently sitting on top of the tile. I need it to sit below the tile, but of course it's based on the actual fascia itself. So I might need to sit the suffete lining down to line up with this fascia if this is the actual fascia that I want to use. So it's really important when we're using manufactured items that they're designed to suit the actual size of whatever we're doing.